his mouth is, I need teeth work. <laughs> That's fine, you keep that to yourself. Right? Um, and, wait a minute. Smelling with no teeth. Smell with your eyes. Smell with your soul. Your spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that smell! <laughs> Crooked teeth. It's, it's in your mind. None of us would have even thought of that at all. The last thing in the world. Someone said that. Like, no one was thinking what you're thinking. And this, I'm actually, the only reason I'm going to uh, say this is, this is very important. We all have things that we want to work on. Since the dog, I've gained 12 pounds. So I'm feeling a little plump. <laughs> um, but, when you're on stage and when you're in front of the camera, that's not the time to worry about that. If I care that much, then I will figure out a way to work out. That's it. You can only work out for the future. When you're on stage, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do to change your look. So if you're worried about that, you're only gonna defeat yourself. And when we're acting, so outside of a slating, then when we take on a character, we cannot care about ourselves. We have to care about our character and what our character is going through. Huh. I don't want to get too deep yet. You won't get too deep. I have a question. I'm over here not my I have a question. Stand up there real quick and ask your question is if you know the part that you're going for do you take on that persona when you're slated if you're coming if you're a texan and you're coming in and you're like a, you're going to be a cowboy do you kind of take on that persona or if you're going to be a gangster do you kind of slate with a little bit of that in mind okay so good question stand up here <laughs> so I can hide behind you. <laughs> okay. Um, we have to understand platforms. Okay? So, if you're doing a commercial, 99.9% .9 they're going to have you slate. Why? They're seeing about 500 people. Okay? Each audition, 5 minutes. 500 times 5 minutes. How long is that? Ad agency is not watching everybody's five minutes. The slate is so that they can quickly see who is right for the part, especially ever since COVID, because people haven't updated their headshots. So people are sending headshots that no longer look like them. So the ad agency gets a headshot of this person that looks nine years younger than what they are when they walk in the room. Well, if they see that on camera, then bam, we can pass right by you. Okay? We don't have to spend five minutes of our time. If you get up here and you're shaking and you're doing all this, you pass next. So the slate helps people quickly decipher through who they're going to see for the callback. Usually in the callback, when they're in the room, then they can really focus on your audition. Now, that's commercials. If you're going for TV, so let's say it's a guest star role. There's only going to be eight people going for the guest star role. They know exactly who you are. They've seen footage of you, which is why I said earlier, if you don't have a dynamic demo reel, you're usually not going to get signed with the top theatrical agent. Because a theatrical agent, part of their arsenal to get you in the room to see a casting director of a show is because they've shown footage of what you can already do. So they know who you are. Majority of the time, okay? That's why I said commercials, more people, it's quicker pace. So for TV, let's say you're playing a gangster, 
they're probably not going to even have you sleep. Now, let's say they do, because, you know, not everything is perfect 100% of the time. Everyone runs their casting session different. On your journey as a performing artist, you're going to pick up certain things. You're going to go to different classes. You have to use what works for you, okay? We say all the time, we're all instruments. So you may be a trombone, I may be a drum, you may be a flute. <laughs> you may be a clarinet. <laughs> Violin, I don't know, saxophone. Um, so we're, we're all different. Some people are method actors. It's hard for them to come in and out of character. So they need to spend a week in that character. So their character has a scene where they're going to kill somebody. So the whole week they're looking around depressed, you know, they're cooking depressed, like all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Other people, they put on characters. And so they can smile, and then as soon as it's time for them to switch, then they go into their craft, and then they become the character who they are. That is your own personal decision that you have to learn over time what type of instrument you are. If you're someone that can show the personable side of who you would be if we went out for a drink, right? Or that you took them out for dinner or lunch or whatever. Mm -hmm. Someone that we could actually like work with and then you went to the psychotic person that you're gonna play, that would probably be the best. But hey, if you're Daniel Day-Lewis, I don't think we're gonna have a problem if you come in in character. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a little long-winded, but just for everybody. There's, there's a movie about Jim Carrey doing Andy, um, 